Okay, come, we all join in, join in. Uh, but try to, try to sit in between them. Just... Okay, good evening to you and welcome back. Ask you for one favor. I know you all love your handphones, but I'm also putting my handphone aside. Okay, so can we just put our handphones aside? Okay, we are going to have. Uh,
Tapi gua alfi kes kabe. Gua alfi kabe. Eh, dia pernah yo. Oh, yeah, sorry. 
Kabir, okay. Can you introduce yourself, please? Sorry? Kabir. Kabir. Can you use last name? And uh, your, your, from which school? Delta Secondary School. Delta Secondary School, okay, let's give it a hand. Ah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, do you want to introduce yourself, your prof? Sorry? Are you sure you're not from ACS? Farid, let's welcome Farid. Yes, your name is? I'm sorry? Nishet. Weishet. You're from, you're, you're from what, University of uh, University of California, Los Angeles. Good? Sorry, wrong? Some, uh, okay, let's give him a hand. You're new. Yes. Can you tell us your name, please? Me. Alisa. Let's do both. Huh? Alisa. Okay, you're from which Darling Singh Secretary, Halisa, Yes. You are with us? No, you are not with us, but you are new. Yes. You are? My name is. You forgot your name. Somebody can remember. Maybe she can remember. NG, NG, cut. What is that? Cut. Zainal, let me in. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's give him a hand. Let's give him a hand. Oh, okay, very good. Let's give him a hand. Buy. Buy and it's also because we need to 
uh, there's somebody who wants to sell something to you. Now, whether this is a handphone, or this is a school book, or this is a movie ticket, or this is a plate of rice, it doesn't matter. There's someone who's always trying to sell you something. Whether it's something you need or what, but you do need money now. In the past, it was not like that. In the past, you know, you could actually give a person a cow, and the person will give you tickets. You know, they do what they call barter trade. Okay? In other words, you don't need to come up with money. You can actually just trade like that. But nowadays, okay, pay attention, yes. Nowadays, you can't do that, or there are still people doing that. But cuts. Nowadays, you use this thing called money because it is a what? It is what we call the medium of exchange. Okay? So instead of giving you a cow, if I want to have chickens or I want to have eggs, I can't continue to do that because one fine day you will not need those eggs, right? So they come up with this idea of money and it's something we carry around all the time. So therefore, how we handle money is very, very important. To lose your money is like losing a cow. To lose your money is like losing those eggs, okay? So the money is very, very important. My son used to go to shopping centers, whenever we go to shopping centers, and you won't believe this, uh, he used to go for the trolleys. You know those uh, trolleys, uh, the supermarket trolleys? Okay? And every time he goes to a supermarket, next time you all go to a super su supermarket, you try this, he goes to the supermarket and you know when he sees those uh, in the car park and those trolleys that people uh, forget to push back, uh, he will find a few dollars. So the next time you all go to a car park, you go to a supermarket, uh, you go down to the, 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 the car park area and look for a trolley. You will never know you might find a few dollars. He actually earned a few dollars just, like, just doing that. Okay? People will leave the car behind because after they buy, they buy the things and they put it into the car, sometimes they just leave the trolley alone and then they drive off. And so he will go to the, the he will go to the car park and he will take his trolley and push it back and he pick up the dollar. That's what he used to do. He got a few dollars just doing that. Okay, so like I said, sometimes money is all over the place. You don't have to steal. There's no need to steal. But sometimes money is just around. Okay. So it's a question of whether we know where to spot it. Now, last week, what did we talk about money being used for? Anybody? What is money used being used for? Right, right, right. right? Brian, sorry, I forgot the B. Okay, Brian, uh, last week, what were your thoughts about what money being used for? Oh, you got to look at your notes, huh? <laughs> what was money being used for? What did we teach? Sorry? I'm sorry? Yeah, but what, what, what is money being used for? Things. Buy things. Buy things, right? Buy things. Now, so last week, those of you who haven't, uh, you know, didn't come last week, you can write down the notes, okay, it's perfectly okay. Uh, we talked about money being used to buy necessities, right? I mean, you need to buy your food and all that. You also use money to buy luxuries. I see a number of you here about iPhone now. Huh? I see a number of you here about iPhones. Uh, money is also used to gamble. Okay, <laughs> it's true. Uh, money is used to help others. Money is used to show off. Some people use money to show off. Some people use money to pay school fees. Okay, money is needed to pay school fees, pay and get fees. Money is used to pay salaries, you know, you go out there. How many of you work during the school holidays? Can I see a show of hands? School holidays? Okay, a few of you here work during the school holidays. Uh, and, you know, when you work, they pay you a salary, right? A small salary. Money is also used to save for the future. So I'm just giving you some examples of what we teach last week. Now, the other thing is about uh, money. Now, this is the interesting part. From where do you learn how to use money? Or from who did you learn anything about money? Can I, can I ask one of you here? From who did you learn anything about money? From his school, from his school. Anybody told you anything about money? Nobody here. School. School. School you. Very school, very school. Okay. Thanks. Okay. I am the Now, let me, let me just share with you something. Uh. First of all, how you use money, some of, the, some of the times it's something that is already inside you, you, you already roughly know how to use. If you see somebody on the, on the road and he's begging, would you give the person money? Would you? Okay. Okay. Who would give the person money? Can I see a show of hands? Okay, some of us here, why? Why would you want to give the person money? 
Pitiful. Okay. Who told you to be pitiful? Your mother told you to be Wow, that's very good. But some of us, we are we feel is pitiful because it's already in us. Nobody really taught us, right? So there's something about you that you already know about money. Then who else told you about money? Anybody? You just said what? Your family. Yeah, your family, right? Your family teach you how to handle money, right? Who else teach you about money? Who else teach you about money? Yourself. Yourself. Is it up here? Okay. Who else teach you about yourself? About yourself. Okay. But where do you where do you learn from? Teachers. School lah. Okay. School lah. Okay. Now to be school, but take a look here. What is this? Magazines. Magazines for articles, right? They teach you about money. What else? Anything else? Newspaper. Newspaper. Movies. Movies teach you about money. I didn't say whether it's right or wrong. I just say they teach you about money. Yeah. Who else teach you about money? Your friends. Okay. Right. Your 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 school teach you about money. What else? Okay. Television teach you about money. When you watch television, they tell you to buy this and buy that. They also teach you about money. What else? Okay. Internet. Now with the phone. Okay. They also teach you about money. Or they want you to buy. So all these things affect the way you think about money. Whether it's right or it's wrong, I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong. I'm just saying this is where you learn. Okay. And so how do you make choices? Last week we talked about this. Anybody remember what this is? Anybody remember what this is? Sorry? Future? Future. Okay. Anybody remember this? How do you make your decision on money? I I talked about going to a, a shopping center, right? So what happened? When you go into a shopping center like I what do you what do you have? You have the sensors. If you go into a shopping center, nowadays you have what? Smell. Have you been to one before you smell? Something very nice? No. Okay, if you go to Ion, I told you go to Ion, maybe Mira, maybe the VFN to Ion. Huh? But then, you see, nowadays, in shopping centers, they use smell. And then after they use the smell, you want to find out where the smell comes from, you go to the shop, and what do you see? see. So now they use the what? The eyes. eyes. And so your eyes look at what? There's a label down there, it is called what? Sale. Sale. Discount. So you use your eyes. The next thing is what? They play the music inside the shop. Okay? And even advertisements and all that, uh, they also play a certain kind of music, right? They say, buy me. Buy me. Okay? And then after you hear it, what do you do? They make you feel good. That if you buy this thing, you'll become slimmer. If you eat this thing, you become stronger and all that. If you if you carry this thing, you become smarter, and so they want you to feel good, and then finally they will say, okay, they will make you say. They will make you say that I want this. Okay? So what I'm saying is that now you have to be very careful because everywhere that you go, everybody is trying to sell you something. Everybody's trying to sell you something, whether or not you know it. Okay? Now the other thing, therefore, what can we learn from all this? Okay, what did you learn from last week? Can I have a name again? Chihau. Chihau, what did you learn from last week? What was the one lesson you learned from last week for yourself? Buy the things that you need. Sorry? Buy the things that you need. Buy the things that you need. Okay, very good. What did you learn from last week? One lesson. Spend the money and then spend the rest. Wow, you all are here with your pie, man. Okay, what did you learn from last week? One lesson. One lesson. Something that you can remember. What about the uni or the uni? How do you spend your money? Okay. Yeah, uh, what did you learn from last week? One lesson, just one lesson. It can be the same lesson.
say that this is a projector, right? This projector has a dollar value on it. It's a thousand dollars. This laptop, two thousand dollars. It's a dollar value. Everything. Number three, the value is only meaningful to you because if you don't need this laptop, it is worth zero. If you need this laptop, it is worth a lot. You follow what I'm saying? If I give you an iPhone today, I say, is it worth a lot? Is an iPhone worth a lot? Yes or no? Is it worth a lot? An iPhone? Is it a phone? No. It's worth nothing? It's just a phone. It's just a phone. Is an iPhone worth a lot? To you? Yes. Yes, why? How do you know that it's worth a lot?
okay, just is a mama shop very far from NTUC? You went to your school area? Okay, good. Now, this one is interesting, huh? Dasini drinking water, 20 ounce. You all know what Dasini drinking water? Million ounce, huh? Okay, listen to this. One mama shop, one dollar. Another mama shop, 80 cents. How much do you think NDUC is selling it for? Okay, one mama shop is 80 cents, another mama shop is one dollar. How much do you think NDUC is selling it for? I'm not promoting NDUC. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry? A dollar sixty. How much do you think it is, Mira? And you see? Sixty cents. How much do you think and you see is a little for? Don't know. Make a guess. More expensive or more uh, cheaper? Cheap. Uh, how much do you think it is? One ten. The mama show is eighty cents, you know? One dollar. Seventy cents. Seventy cents. Guess how much it is? Huh? How much is it? Fifty five cents. How much is it? Fifty five cents. Sorry? 115. 115. Just see me. 20 pounds. You see 45 cents, uh, right? 45 cents. 55 cents. Okay. Uh, Brian found it was 45 cents. Okay. So if we take one more example, okay, one more example. Uh Sensodyne, Sensodyne uh, toothpaste. Sensodyne toothpaste, Mama Shop, 680, another Mama Shop, $7, another Mama Shop. This one NTC is six dollars and thirty nine. Sorry? Yeah, I don't know. But they want you to You check from internet, wow, you're good, man. You. <laughs> okay. So what I'm trying to share with you, why we, we went through this exercise, and I want you to take the opportunity to to go through this exercise. Okay? Uh, and maybe afterwards, uh, you can you all help them to figure out what are the items that they need right now? Okay, we'll let you know. We want you to do this exercise so that you learn one thing. What what is the one thing that you learned, Brian, okay. since you completed the whole thing? What? Sorry? Price difference. Price difference. Okay. Would you go to the mama shop again? In your opinion? Huh? You won't. Maybe. 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 What reason would you go to the mama shop? Because it's close by. Okay. Because by the time you take a, a bus to a new scene, you'll spend more. Uh, sorry, your name again. What did you learn from this exercise? To know the price. To know the price. What, 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 is, what is about knowing the price that is useful? Do you find it useful? Why? What is useful about it? Some cheap, some expensive. So if you have the same $10, if you have the same $10 to buy these items, or if you total everything, let's say supposing everything is $50, if I gave the $50 budget, what would happen if you bought it from the cheapest place? You have more money left. Another way of looking at it is that with the same amount of money you can buy more. more. You follow what I'm saying? So two things happen. Number one is you get to save more money or with the same amount of money you get to buy more. Okay? This is the reason why we want you to do this exercise. Okay? It doesn't matter. Now I'm just giving you all these items. It could be it could be like in the future you want to buy an iPhone or you want to buy anything. There is such a thing as a price difference. Okay? A big price difference between two places. Okay? So we want you to do that. Okay? okay? So let's give, give this to a big hand because we both completed. So now and, uh, and Ryan. Okay. Now let me go through this week's exercise and I want you all to write down some important notes. Okay, it's going to be a very short lesson because I know that uh, if I have too long a lesson, you all can't concentrate. So I want to give you all things very, very simple and then I prefer to either play a video or I would like you all to uh, go back and do something, okay, some exercise. When you do that, then you remember, okay? So, now, before we go on to this, can you all go back to the last sector, whichever, you turn to the back of your notebook, can you all turn to the back of your notebook? I want you all to write down these items for those of you who have not finished your project. Can you see this again if you don't mind? Okay? I want you all to write down these items. Okay, I'm going to give you the, the item and I'm going to give you the weightage. And during this week, you go back and you're going to look for these items and find out the, the prices. 
okay? Number one is Lay's, L-A-Y across each and S, huh? Lay's classic potato chips. Lay's classic potato chips, 184 grams. Lay's classic potato chips, and this is how it looks like. Lay's classic potato chips, 184 grams. Find out wherever you go, the three places, to do a price comparison. Number two, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola classic. Uh, 12 pounds. Okay, the 12 pounds can. Number three, Duracell battery. Duracell battery, double A, alkaline. Okay, double A alkaline. Double A alkaline, a pack of four. A pack of four, so can you write it down? A pack of four. The packet has four. Okay, there's four in it. Okay. Next one is Dasini, D A S A N I, Dasini drinking water. Dasini drinking water, 20 ounces. Okay, 20 ounces. Number five. Coca-Cola 1.5 liters. Coca-Cola 1.5 liters. Okay. Coca-Cola 1.5 liters. Number six. Coca instant noodles. K O K A. Coca instant noodles. The chicken one, huh? 85 grams. Coca instant noodles. Chicken, 85 grams. Next one. Nestle honey stars. Nestle, N-E-S-T-L-E, -E, Nestle Honey Stars, 300 grams. Okay, can you write it down? Honey Stars, 300 grams. Next one, Colgate Plax, P-L-A-X. Colgate Plax mouthwash. Colgate Plax mouthwash, fresh, uh, fresh mint, 750 milliliters. Fresh mint, 750 milliliters. Next one, the second last one, Sensodyne toothpaste, S O, uh, sorry, S E N S O D Y N E. Sensodyne toothpaste, original, 100 grams. Sensodyne toothpaste, original, 100 grams. And the last one is Panadol Extra in 20s. Panadol Extra in 20s. Okay? If you can complete your list, you get a maximum of 25 points, which will add up to your 100 points on week 5. You can change it for single class, you can change it for NPC vouchers, you can change it for McDonald's vouchers. We let you do that, okay? Alright. You can fill in all those later. Let's pay attention to the class. Okay, now, in the second class this week, I want to talk to you about there are two kinds of people in this world. Only two kinds. Okay? The first kind of people in this world, take a look at this, huh? They are the people who what? They whoa. They are the people who save first and then they spend the rest. That's the first kind of people. What do they do first? Can you say it? They save first and then they spend the rest. There's a second kind of, the, uh, the second group of people are people who what? Spend first and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they are able to save. I keep saying hopefully because most of the time it does not happen. Why? Because they spend first and there's always something to buy. Okay? Because I say advertisement always tell you to buy. So the first group of people are people, can we say together, who, who what? Save first and then spend the rest. The second group of people are people who spend first and hopefully they can save the rest. Now look at this part. This group of people only make up 10% about that. Maybe slightly more. About 10% of everybody you meet. So in this room, hopefully all the uncles and aunties here all say first. <laughs> and this group of people make up what percent? Make up what percent? Hey, this 
ten percent what it is. Ninety. Very good. Nine. Oh, so nine percent. Nine percent.
Okay, it's, it's about twenty-two dollars. So every day is roughly how much? How many school days is that? Five. Five school days. So twenty-two dollars divided by five is what? Roughly. It's about four dollars a day, right? Hello. <laughs> hey, I am much older than you. I have more energy, you know. You're like, I'm the guy. Eh? Okay. Every day you will get about four dollars. Four dollars is for you to take MRT or whatever it is. But if every week you get about twenty-two dollars, if you can just take two dollars and put it into the blue man, you are actually on your way to becoming new broke people. And it's important, okay? Because otherwise, you will find that every week this whole every every week or every month this whole thing goes down and there's nothing, okay? So, if you are able to save 10%, that means that you have how much left? 90%. So, if you have $22 and you put $2 into, let's say, a blue man of savings, how much would you have left? $20. Would $20 mean you die? $2 difference would it mean you die? Yes or no? No, right? Okay, so try it. Okay, we're just saying try it. Now, out of the 20%, 90% uh, spending, so I'm now taking this tiny little tag here and I'm not blowing it up for you, okay? It will look like that. This 90% spending is actually this one, this small tag here and I'm blowing it up to a big tag and I say the 90% savings of uh, spending here is on two types of spending. Need Number one, one. Need it is called... One. Can we say this together? Need. Need. Second one? One. one. Okay? Now, let me ask you a question. What is a need? What is a need? Food. What is a need? You can answer the question, it's okay. There's no right or wrong. What is a need? Something that you, you have to have because you need to survive. Okay? What is a need? What is a need for you? What is a need? A need to survive. What is a want? What is the want? Sorry, you? You want it but you don't need it, okay? What is a want? What is a want? Sorry? Okay. Brian, what is a want? Sorry? Things that you want, okay. Take a look at this and write it down, please. What is a need? A need is something you have to have. If you don't have it, you will die. I'm serious. So what is an example of a need? What is an example of a need? If you don't have it, you should die. So what is an example of a need? <laughs> okay, food is something you need. What is an example of a need? Uh -huh. Amama is an example of a need. Okay, Amama is an example of a need. <laughs> What is an example of uh, a need? What's an example of a need? If you don't have it, you will die. What is it? I'm talking about using money to buy. Like she said, food, right? What is an example of a need? A basic, basic need. Yeah, food is one of them, right? What else? Food, very good. Shelter. Yeah. You can eat, but you eat in the what? Under the sun. Then it rains, it's also under the sun. You know what? You sleep under the sun, so it's okay. You need shelter, right? So these are needs. What is a want? Anybody here? What is a want? What's a want? An example of a want. Something you want today. You can just say, what is it? What would you like? You don't know what you want. Something you would like to have. What is something you would like to have? Do you like to have? Do you have one today? My Sorry? Okay. Or oh, you want your handphone, okay? Uh, what's an example of a want? What's an example of a want? Something you want? Soccer boots? You play soccer? Okay, something you want, what is it? That you don't have yet? That you don't have yet? Sorry? Brand a brand new phone. What how? Everybody talk about phone, huh? Everybody talk about phone. 
Yeah, so it is something that you would like to have, okay? But if you don't have the brand new phone, will you die? Huh? You will die. Oh, okay. Okay, so you will die. You have to tell the difference between what if you don't have, you will die, and what if you don't have, you won't die. What you need to have, otherwise you will die, is all of what? Everybody should get up? A knee. And what you don't, what if you don't have, you won't die, is all of what? It's all of what? So you need to tell the difference. Because otherwise you will end up spending all of your money on what? And that's why a lot of people get in trouble, okay? Now, even if you have a need or a want, you can always get what? Can we say it together? Always get the yes. best deal. You need a bottle of water because you're thirsty. We just found out from Brian that in one place you get a Dasini water for how much? One dollar and ten cents, right? One mama shop. One dollar from the, from the Dasini water. He's thirsty. He wants to have a drink. So this is a need. Correct? But even with the need, if you go to the mama shop, it's one dollar. If you walk over to NTUC, it is 45 cents. You can always get the what? The best deal. If you have the money, and it is something that you, can we say this together? One, even with a handphone, you can still get the, the what? The best deal. You have to learn to get the best deal. Okay? Okay, so this is the activity. I don't know whether I want to do this. Uh, uh, can we get the facilitators together, please? And we break it up into groups of maybe one, two, three, how many do you want? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 twelve. Okay, we break into groups of fours. Can we just quickly break them into groups of fours? Okay? And I want you to just facilitate the facilitators, if you don't mind, can we all do this with me because we haven't got much time, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, can we break them up into groups? And I want you to just have a discussion with them about what they what they want, okay? What they want within the next one year. What they want if they had a choice, what they want within the next one year. And I want you to get them to, to write it down. Can we do that? Just break them into groups of course very quickly. Break them into groups of fours. Okay? Let's bring them. Hey, come on guys, let's stand up. Okay, and get some energy. Energy. Let's see the whole thing you are in the spot. 
中。About seventy nine. Okay. The other one is uh, oh, iPhone. It's about four five hundred. Huh? Four five hundred. Oh, sure? okay. Maybe maybe more. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then the other one is uh, something else. I can't remember offhand. Want to buy a rocket to the moon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Ellison. Ellison, what did you find out? Okay. Uh, this group may have financial goals of hundred dollars to about thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> right. In the next one year. Okay. Some of them want to go for a holiday. Oh. Uh -huh. One, some, a few of them want to have a newer phone, an like Android phone, a e? newer version of an iPhone. Okay. And one of them wants to have a pair of sports shoes. Okay. Uh, and one of them, yeah, and one of them would like to have a bike. Uh, I think he gave me a name for the bike. Okay. Alright, okay, yes, uh, give yourself a hand. This part, um, there's really nothing wrong having wants. Okay, all of us have wants, um, and it doesn't mean that we want something we should get it now. Okay, uh, it's something you work for. You may or may not get it, but like I said, what's the difference between a want and a need? A want, a need is what something. Can we say it together? Something you you have to have because if you don't have it, you'll die. But what's the one? Something you would like to have. Oh, you're a very good student, huh? Okay? If the only one was cooperating with me. Starting <laughs> Okay? So, there's nothing wrong about having ones, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad that y'all can see something that you want. Next week, when we come back, I will help y'all to understand a little bit about budgeting and setting goals. Because you can hold on to those ones, it's okay. But I need to help y'all to know how to get there without cheating, okay? And knowing how to learn to use your money well. So, now, the activity that we did is for you to figure out what you want, but this is what I want to uh, let you watch, okay? I want y'all to watch this, okay? Now, this video is actually for fairly young children. I want to say this, but the lessons behind it, even an adult can learn, okay? I say it again, the video you are about to watch is only about one minute. It actually can teach a young child like him, but even an adult like me can learn from this. So I want you all to watch the video, okay? Watch it very carefully, and you might learn something from it.
it's a very short video. Like I said, it's uh, sorry about the volume because my speaker is some damage. But I wanted you all this to watch this video because this video teaches you the difference between what? Anybody? Needs and wants. Needs and wants. Okay? What is the difference between the two char characters? Anybody? What's the difference between the two characters, the two boys? One boy will play a lot. Okay, yeah. I am asking that question. Okay? What did you what what did you learn about the two characters? What did you learn about the two characters, the two boys? Okay. Alex obviously doesn't understand that if he wants to get what he wants, he needs to save. So he takes the money that he's supposed to save for the bicycle and he uses it to buy soda and a candy. So if you keep doing that, you'll never get a bicycle. So whether it's a shoe, whether it's a handphone, whether it is a dress, whether it is a pair of sport shoes, by the time you get to one year, if you're not going to be able to put money into the bank, your savings account, or the little blue man when going to give it to you next week, you will not be able to get the dress, the handphone, or whatever it is. Okay? Next week, we're going to talk about budgeting, okay? learning to budget. So, the, the final thing that I want to do is to finish off by showing you the learning points. Okay? What is the number one learning point? Can we say this together? One, two, three. Watch how you use money. There are many ways you can use money. Okay? You can join the sea. I mean, there are people who do crazy things like that. You can use money for good or for bad. If you use money for good, it will multiply. It will make your life better. If you use money for bad, your life actually goes down the drain, like you know, learning bad habits, smoking or gambling and all that. That's bad use of money. That is basically. Okay? Can we say this together? The next one is what? It is possible to save. How do you do that? When you get your school pocket money fund, what is the first thing that you do? What should be the first thing that you do, everybody? You have to take some amount, open the second tab and put it aside. Okay? That amount of money is gonna help you to get what you want later on. Number three, can we say this together? There is always, can we say it together? There is always a better deal. What if there's only one shot selling a thing that you want? If you can't afford it, don't buy. I mean, what, why is that, what if there's only one shot, then there's no better deal? If you have no better deal, then if that is really something that you save for and all that, and it's within your budget, then go ahead. Okay? But always try to find a better deal. Okay? This is your homework, huh? Can you please take out your notebook? And this is what I want you all to write now. I gave you all the list of 10 items. Can you now turn to one of the blank? Uh, sorry, turn to the front of your booklet. Can you all turn to the front of your booklet? I hope you all didn't write anything there. Huh? This is something you are going to have to do for the rest of the time that we are running this program and it's going to help you a lot. Okay? This is what you need to do. You will score maximum 25 points each week. 25 points each week, and this is what I'm going to, uh, what I need you to do. Okay, take a look at this. This thing is called the Project 555. The Project 555 looks like that. Can you now draw out five, five columns? Can you all draw five columns, please? Find a way, get a ruler, get something, you know, and use your hand phone, whatever it is. Draw five columns. Can you all do that? Draw five columns. Why is this pocket? Uh, take a take another booklet to draw the lines if you need to. Okay. I want you all to draw the five lines, five columns. Okay. Then go to the second page. And I want you all to write down there week number two on the top. Write down there week number two project. Week number two project. Okay. Some of you are struggling to draw straight lines. Uh, uh, some people are rulers or not. Okay, I need you all to draw five columns. Five columns. The first column, I want you all to write the word date. Okay? The first column is date. The second column is time. The third column is item. The item. Okay? I put your transaction. Don't use the word transaction. Use the word item. What item did you buy? Okay, item. Okay? 
The fourth column is the amount, the dollar amount. Okay. The, the, now this the last column. Okay, I did add the last column here. The last column is I want you all to write need or want. Okay. So you have the date, the time, the item, the amount. The last column is. Need or want. Now this is what you need to do. Okay, I'll give you the instructions and then we're gonna close. During the course from today or maybe tomorrow, all the way till we meet next Wednesday, I need y'all to fill this in. Like tomorrow, the date is what? 20th, right? Tomorrow will be 20th. You get up for school. Okay, still school holidays. Uh. Some of you get up at 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, afternoon. So whatever time that you start making your first transaction. So let's say supposing your first transaction, you happen to go to 7-Eleven and you bought a bottle of water. Example. So you go to 7-Eleven at 11 and you bought a bottle of water. You put the amount there. And can you answer the last question? Is this a need or what? It is a need put N, it is a one put W. That's all. That's all you need to do. Every day, for the whole day, for the whole day you do that, and you do that every day for the next seven days. You'll get a maximum of 25 points. I hope you won't come one week after and you all gas up the number, huh? Okay? Please tell the truth. You can score a maximum of 25 points. Those of you who haven't completed your first week project and you want to do it, you can score another 25 points. Okay, which you can accumulate all the way to 100 points by the time you reach week number five, and you can redeem for your uh, your item. Do we have an attendance sheet here, uh, Hannah? Do we have an attendance sheet? Uh, but some of them they just want to today. We need to record that. Yeah. Can we do that? Because uh, we want to know how many five weeks. Okay, those of you who come consistently for five weeks, you will definitely get your cinema, cinema pass and you're here for second week. Uh, Mira is here for second week and Brian also and, and you. So those of you who are complete five weeks will give you a cinema pass. Those of you who have just joined us, never mind, you can still collect points and redeem after the five weeks. You know, you have probably enough points for uh, cinema movie pass. Okay, so please do your homework. This week, what did we learn? We learned about needs and wants. Okay, the first week, we just taught you about what you are thinking and how do people, how do people get you to spend money, where did you learn it from. So this week, we talk about needs and wants. Next week, we're going to talk about budgeting. Okay, and so you have two pieces of homework. If you have not done last week's one, which is the 10 items and those of you who already completed last week's one just do this week's one which is the project can we say this together project what? 5, 5, 5 why is it 5, 5, 5? 5 items are there 5 columns and it only takes you 5 minutes to do this and actually we want you to do it for 5 weeks it's a habit okay so with that thank you very much